Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today in this video we will learn how to create a professional e-learning website or online course website using free WordPress theme, plugins and free resources. And we will design this website using free Elementor drag and drop page builder. And you don't need to know any coding knowledge. And we will use most popular WordPress course plugin Tutor LMS and Tutor LMS Pro. So let's talk about the website functionalities. So this is the website we want to create entire this video. Your visitors or your students can come to your website. They can purchase courses from your website using Stripe, PayPal or any WooCommerce payment gateways. After purchasing and they can easily access this course. Then you can easily provide course certificate to them. Also, you can easily design or customize certificate using the certificate builder. And let's talk about the website backend functionalities. So this is the, our WordPress dashboard and you can easily add your course, upload your course or you can easily active and deactive multi-instructor system from your WordPress dashboard. And your instructors can upload their courses from using their frontend course builder. And they can easily monetize their course like Udemy. And your instructors can earn from your website and you will get some commission. You can easily set commission from your WordPress dashboard and they can easily withdraw their revenue through bank transfer, PayPal or any other payment gateways. If someone upload course from your website and these course videos will automatically upload on your Amazon S3 bucket to reduce your server space. So I will show you how to integrate Amazon S3 bucket on your website. Also, I will show you how to upload your videos to external video source like YouTube, Vimeo and other external source. And then I will show you how to integrate Zoom account on your website and your instructors can upload live class, live course from your website using the Zoom meeting system. And I will show you how to create this website step by step. So let's get started and before starting this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe the YouTube channel. So we will create this website following some simple steps. Number one, we will know how to purchase domain and web hosting. And then I will show you how to install WordPress on your server. And then I will show you how to design this website and how to add your functionalities on your website. I will be also adding a timestamp in the description so you can always jump into the necessary parts you need. Now we need to purchase domain and web hosting to install our website. And I will provide you 80% discount link in the video description box below. Before purchasing domain and web hosting, we will know what is domain and web hosting. So domain name is our web address to visit our website on internet like Facebook, Google and Amazon.com, .in etc. And web hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website files, images, database into the internet. You can purchase domain and web hosting from Hostinger at low cost. Personally, I love Hostinger service and I am using Hostinger's domain and web hosting for my personal website and my client's website. Because from this website, we are getting good quality web hosting at low cost, which makes our website loading speed very fast. Also, you can get 24 hours technical support from Hostinger. You can purchase any types of web hosting from Hostinger. From the beginning, you can purchase web hosting packages. And if you gain lots of visitors and traffic on your website, then you can easily migrate or transfer your website to cloud hosting or BPS web hosting. So now I am going to buy web hosting package. Just click on web hosting. Hostinger will provide you some different of packages. From the first one, you can upload your own website and you will get 50 GB SSD storage and 10,000 monthly visitor and you will get one email account and if you purchase premium web hosting and business web hosting you can upload 100 websites and you will get free domain name and more features and every packages will provide you unlimited free SSL certificate and SSL certificate is very important for your website to secure your connection so this feature is very helpful and you will get auto backup system and weekly backup and daily backup if someone hack your website or if your website is broke you can easily restore your website from your backup file so also this feature will helpful for you and then you will get 30 days money back guarantee 
So I want to purchase premium web hosting package. Just click on add to cart. And then you have to select your monthly plans. I want to buy this hosting package for 12 months. And then you have to create your new account. Just put your email address. Or you can easily sign up with your Facebook account or Google account. And then you can purchase domain and web hosting using your credit card, PayPal account, Google Pay and Alipay or any cryptocurrencies just select your payment gateway and you will save 108 dollar and our total cost is 35.88 dollar and you have saved 143.88 dollar and then click on submit to secure payment after purchasing your web hosting then you have to create your new wordpress website or you can easily migrate your existing website but i want to create a new website just click on select button i want to install wordpress on my hosting and you can select another platform from here you can easily install laravel or another framework but i want to install wordpress just click on select and type your administrator email address and type your uh, wordpress password to log in your wordpress dashboard just create a new password and type your administrator email or set your email then click on continue button and see you have some plugins but i don't want to install this plugin right now i will install it later just click on skip and see you have some pre-made wordpress theme i will install wordpress theme from wordpress dashboard just click on skip next you have to buy your domain name or you can use your existing domain name from another provider so if you buy your domain from namecheap or godaddy or other hosting provider you can easily connect your domain name to the hosting account or you can claim your free domain name if you purchase premium hosting or business web hosting you will able to claim a free domain name just click on claim your free domain and type your domain name so i'm typing my domain name this is our domain name our address we want to install wordpress cms and click on finish setup wait for a few seconds to install your wordpress or install your ssl certificate and and see you have installed our wordpress website and you can easily edit your website or you can go to your cpanel just click on manage site and you can access your cpanel or hosting panel let's see this is our cpanel and you can manage your website manage your domain name email and website and files and you can access your databases file manager and you can change everything whatever you want so just click on wordpress and click on dashboard i want to install ssl certificate to secure the connection and just click on install select your domain name and click on install ssl and see we have installed ssl on this domain to access your wordpress dashboard just click on edit website and see we have got our wordpress dashboard and if you click on this simple wordpress icon and you will get the wordpress dashboard and you can easily manage your website using the dashboard and you can easily add new themes plugins and add more functionalities on your website so first of all i want to visit my website how it looks like and see we have got ugly design and this theme come from our default wordpress installation so go back to our wordpress dashboard and i want to deactivate some plugins and unnecessary plugins from here just select this option and select deactivate and click on apply again select this option and select delete and click on apply and click on ok and then hover on settings and click on general and type your site title so you can easily type your site title i'm typing my site title and type your site tagline you can easily change your administrator email from here and then check this option anyone can register so if you check this option your site visitor or your site customer can register their account and they can easily create their account and let's scroll down and you can select your time zone and select your date format time format and then click on save changes to save your change then go to permalinks and select this post name and click on save changes 
so now i want to active our wordpress theme go to appearance and click on themes and see we have got some wordpress default themes i want to add a new theme let's click on add new button and search for tutor starter and install this theme just click on install and click on activate so we have activated this theme and let's go to your website home page just reload this page and see we have changed some option so you can easily design your header and you can change some functionalities on your website design before designing i want to add a new plugin to add our courses on our website so how to add course functionalities and how to add your own course on your website to upload your course on your website and add course content you have to install a new wordpress plugin just go to plugins and click on add new and search for tutor lms and install this plugin so you can active this plugin for free and it has pro version and if you want to add more functionalities on your website you can purchase pro version of tutor lms tutor lms will provide you some different of packages and you can purchase this plugin for your agency business individual from individual license you will get one site license for your website and you will get update for one year also you can buy tutor lms pro for lifetime and you will get lifetime updates so right now i want to activate this free plugin and run this website for free just click on activate after activating you will get the setup wizard i want to skip it right now and dismiss the notice and see we have got course option you can easily add new course you can add new course categories and you can see your student list and you can add more add-ons and more functionalities so then i want to go to my pages and click on all pages so i want to delete dashboard and instructor registration and default pages from here i want to add these pages from scratch so just select move to trash and click on apply so now i want to add some pages using some short code so to find tutorial lms short codes or pages short codes just visit this website wpmethods.com and type slash lms and hit enter and I scroll down and as you can see we have got some important links and you can uh, download some assets download images download elementor templates so i will provide you some images and templates for designing purpose so you can easily download your assets from this website then go to shortcut section and copy the login page so i want to add student and instructor login and registration page on our website so i will add five pages just go back to your wordpress dashboard open this link new tab one two three four five and type your page title so first of all this page title is login and you can type anything whatever you want and you have to add the short code just click on plus icon and select the short code and go back to the website just copy the short code and paste it in here and click on publish and close this page so next i want to add course list page so you don't need to add any short code for course list page automatically add these functionalities and you will automatically show your course list just i will select this course page from our setting panel and you can easily display your courses in this page just type your page name course list and click on publish and close this page and again go back to this page and next student register if you use this shortcode you will get student registration form and your students can easily register their profile using this page so just click on plus icon select the shortcode and paste the shortcode tutor student register form okay and type your page title and click on publish and publish this page mm -hmm. 
reload this page list and see we have got course list dashboard instructor register and login and student register pages and next you have to define your pages from your tutorial LMS settings option over over on your tutorial LMS and click on settings and click on general tab and select your dashboard page so I want to select this dashboard page and you can easily add your terms and condition page and then you can easily select your terms and condition to add terms and condition page you can uh, easily follow same methods type your terms and condition page title and then you can easily add your terms and condition text in here and then click on publish to publish this page and you can easily add your privacy policy page just click on add new and add your privacy policy page text or content and publish this page and go back to your settings from tutorial LMS and select again your dashboard page and select your terms and condition page and then click on advanced tab and select your course archive page just select your course list page and you can select your instructor registration page from here and then select your student register page you can type your lesson permalink from here so i'll explain you it later and I scroll down and you can active profile configuration system if you active this feature and your student or instructor will get this option from their dashboard so let's active this option and click on save changes and you can active and deactive another option from here and then reload this page and see we have got some option or functionalities on our website so if you click on dashboard and your students or your instructor can see this dashboard and they can use this dashboard and they can manage their courses and they can see their enrolled courses and they can add new course from here so before adding course and other functionalities i want to design this website uh, design home page about us contact us and any other page like this demo website so now i want to active the elementor page builder just go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to and hover over on plugins and click on add new and search for elementor and click on install now you can easily design your website using Elementor page builder without any coding knowledge. This is a simple drag and drop page builder. So then we need to install another plugin to design our footer section like that. Search for Elementor footer and install this add-on Elementor header and footer builder and click on activate to active this plugin. But this plugin required to install or active elementor page builder click on active elementor and click the close icon you can connect or sign up elementor account on your website and then as you can see you have got elementor header and footer builder so you can easily design your header or your footer and then i want to add home page let's go to pages and click on add new and type your page title click on this gear icon and select default template to full width from your template section and I scroll down so i want to disable our page title and then click on publish and again click on publish and go back to your wordpress dashboard and then i want to set this home page for front page just hover over on your settings and click on reading and select this option and select your home page from here and I scroll down and click on save changes and again go to your all pages and click on edit to edit the home page so i want to design this home page just click on edit with elementor and see this is the our elementor page builder option panel you can easily design your whole website using the drag and drop page builder for example if you want to add a new image you can simply drag and drop your image and you can select your image from your desktop just upload your image and insert media and if you want to add some text just drag and drop 
and paste it here and you can type your own text and if you type anything and you will get output within this section and if you want to change some design for your text just go to your style tab and you can change uh, alignment and you can change text color and you can also change your text typography just select your typography and you can also change your size typography size and whatever you want you can change anything so elementor is the most popular drag and drop page builder and you can design anything without any coding knowledge so i have some elementor page template only for you i have design home page contact page about us page footer section and instructor list page so you can easily download this page from here just visit this website and go to asset section and click on download images or you can download elementor page templates just click on it and you can easily download these resources to design your website because of i want to save you time i have deleted these options and click on update to import these json files you have to active your elementor flexbox to activate just go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to elementor and click on settings and click on experiments tab and scroll down and see our flexbox is deactive just select active click on save changes and go back to your elementor home page or this page and reload this page and then click on folder icon and click on this icon and select your template file and select this home page json file and click on open and click on enable and import and see we have got home page lms and then click on insert button wow we have imported our home page contents and you can easily change your contents by using the elementor page builder and you can click on pencil icon if you want to change category images category text and everything whatever you want just click on pencil icon or click on your content and you can easily change your text from here or you can also change your button text button text link and button background color and whatever you want for example if you want to change this title uh, you can easily type your own title the best type your text and i want to change the button link and i want to paste my course list or course list link just go back to your page and click on all pages and copy the course list page link go back to your elementor and paste it in here and you can change button text explore courses or courses and start learning you can also change this button text color start learning you can add your dashboard link in this button just copy your dashboard link and go back to your elementor page builder and paste it over here and we have replaced our link and scroll down and if you want to change any icons color and everything you can easily change it and then i will show you how to add categories and how you can link your categories so for now i want to update this page and i will show you and i will explain you how you can add your more links in this website sometimes you can face some issue if you want to change this icon or if you want to change this icon you don't select this option so how you can select these icons and replace your icon on icon just click on navigator select it and click on your section this is our main section and this is our first column see this is our first column and as you can see in our section and see we have got our image just select on image and then you can replace your png image if you select this option and you will see this is our another png image so if you want to try to add another png image or logo you can easily add for example i want to add this or replace this image select this image and click on 
InShot Media and see we have replaced our images but don't try to delete whole image because it has CSS animation class if you click on advanced tab and scroll down and see this is our CSS animation class and this class working for this code if you add this code on your website and it will be work on your website and see CSS PNG 1 animation PNG 2 3 just copy this code from here and go back to your WordPress customizer but for now I want to update this option click on update and go to your WordPress customizer and uh, hover on appearance and click on customize and see we have got Arunsial CSS just click on it and close this option and paste your code and our animation is working now perfectly so you can easily add animation using this same process and you can increase and decrease and uh, you can change sizes from here if you click on navigator just click on navigator and click here select your image and change your height or width image height sorry image width go to a style tab and change your image width you can easily increase and decrease width from here and then you can easily click on update that's it and then I will add about us and contact us page just go back to your WordPress dashboard and again click on add new type about us and select template for full width and click on update and click on edit with Elementor and see we have got our about us page just replace your content images and your background image whatever you want for example if you want to replace the background image just click on this icon dot dot icon and click on a style tab and see we have got the background image just replace this image and select another image and see we have replaced this image then click on update and we have added our about us page go back to your wordpress dashboard and click on wordpress icon and again click on add new and type your page name contact us and select full with template and click on publish and then you can easily change your contact page button links and everything whatever you want so i want to delete this contact from then i want to add a new contact from to add functional contact from you have to add another plugin go back to your plugins and click on add new and search for contract and you can install any contact from plugin i want to install this from just click on install and activate this from and go to wp forums and click on all forms and we don't have any from right now so i wanna add a new from and click on let's go close this option let's type your from name you can type anything i wanna use pre-made contact from click on use template and see you have name field email field you can easily add your another field from here for example i want to collect my customer or visitor phone number click on number and see we have got the number from and if you click on advanced step you can select field size i have selected large contact from placeholder okay and you can add a class of css and you can easily order your fields simply drag and drop after that i want to make this field width just click on advanced step select large and again click on advanced tab and select large and see we have full with contact from and click on save and if you want to set your email address custom email address or business email address just you can go to settings and click on notification to set your administrator email to, to receive your visitor email so i want to create a new business mail go back to your hostinger panel and you can click on emails to manage your all emails and click on manage you can create unlimited business email from your hostinger panel select your free plan and type your business mail address so for example i want to create this email for contact form so type contact and add our domain.com so this email will be contact at our domain.com.net 
like that and set your email password so i am typing my email password and you can easily add your recovery email password then click on this button you can copy your password or show your password then copy your email address and go back to your contact form settings and paste this email address send to email address and from email address you can also change uh, and set from email address and then click on save and reload this page and see our notice has gone okay and then click on embed to copy your shortcode then click on use a shortcode just click on it and copy the shortcode and go back to your elementor page builder and click on rubik's cube icon and search for shortcode i want to use my shortcode using this widget and paste your shortcode and click on update and then you can easily visit your contact from page just type contact and scroll down and see we have got our contact from your users and your site visitors can contact with you using this form next i want to design this footer section but right now we don't have any design on our website for footer section so how to replace your footer and how to design your footer section like that so to design it just go to your wordpress dashboard and go to appearance and click on elementor header and footer builder and type your footer section name so i'm typing footer and you can type anything and select your template so i want to show this template for footer and i want to display this footer for entire website just click on publish and click on edit with elementor page builder and again click on folder icon and click on this import icon and select this file and select the footer and click on open and then click on insert and click on apply and see we have got the footer section and if you add any functionalities or if you change your icons from here you can easily change your icon just click on pencil icon and you can easily change your icon from here change your text from here just select your text and add your own text or phone number add your address and if you want to add your social icon just click on pencil icon and you can easily add your facebook page link just you have to paste your social link or if you want to add more links you can add your another item just click on add item and you can change your item logo from here and add your item link okay that's it and then we have got uh, about contact terms and condition privacy policy so we have added some pages just replace this about contact and terms and condition pages so let's go back to your wordpress dashboard and click on pages and copy the about us page link and go back to elementor option and replace this link just paste your link about us copy the contact us link and paste this link in here and then click on update and you can also add your more page following the same method so that's it and if you want to replace your logo or add your logo click on this logo and you can choose your own logo from your computer and go back to your website just visit your website and scroll down and see we have got the footer section now we will know how to upload our course on our website let's go back to your wordpress dashboard go to tutor lms and click on courses before adding courses i want to add some categories and text from categories click on categories and type your category name and to visit my demo website i just copy my category names from my demo website and you can upload your category thumbnail just click on upload and select your category thumbnail or image from here for example i am trying to upload web development or design category to find more category icons or images just visit flat icon 
and visit this website flaticon.com and search for your icon art and see we have got some suggestions click on search icon and you can choose your favorite icon from here so for example i like this icon and click on it and you can download png format and you can easily design this or edit this icon just click on edit then you have to log in or register your account on this website and you can easily change your icon color and select your color and then click on download i want to download png format and select your resolution and click on free download and go back to your website category option you can upload your own icons and custom images just select your icons and upload your icon and type your category name art and design and then click on add new category so i want to add more category names and see we have added some categories and you can also add some tags so i have added some tags and go to courses just click on courses and click on add new i want to add my first course on the website just type your course title description but i want to copy my demo course title and demo course contents but you have to type your real course title real course content and real data i want to copy this title for demo purpose or tutorial purpose let's copy the description and paste it scroll down and go to additional data section what will i learn and this is our section what will you learn and copy these contents type your text and scroll down targeted audience so this course for if you want to learn wordpress without paying for a post so you can add some text for your targeted audience paste your text and type your course duration for example my course duration is 23 hour and 35 minutes okay and material included so so this course have 10 article 10 downloadable resources full lifetime access so you can easily add your content and requirement and instruction so you can add some instruction text for your students and paste it in here and see we don't have any video source so if you want to set your intro video or if you add more topic or lessons or course content you need to active your video source so i am going to active video source switcher and again go to your tutorial lms and open the settings from new tab and click on course tab and scroll down and see we have got some options for video and select html5 or mp4 video you can allow to upload mp4 video for your courses or intro video and you can select youtube to upload youtube video or external url or bmo and active these video sources to upload your course content or course videos let's go back to your course and reload this page and again go to your bottom section and see you have got the video source and course into section you can select your video source from here i've selected youtube and paste your youtube intro video for example i want to add this video in my course for intro purpose and paste your video link and from the right side you have to select your course categories so i have selected web design because of this wordpress course related of web design you can add the course feature image from here to set your feature image click on it and upload your feature image just upload your course image and set feature image click on publish so i want to view this course how it looks like and see we have got our intro video or instruction video then I scroll down and see we have got data material requirements and what you will learn but we don't have any course content so right now i want to add my course content course videos and if someone enroll our course and they can easily access these contents let's go back to our course and I scroll down go to general settings tab 
you can easily set maximum student how many student you want for this course if you want to allow only 10 student for enroll on your course you can easily set the number so i want to set zero for unlimited user or students then you can set difficulty level from here so you can set for beginner or all level so this course for beginner and you can set the course for public so if you don't need to enrollment system on your course you can easily public this course but i want to set this course for page and next q and a so if you enable this option then your students will see a q and a section on their course page next you can add some topic or unlimited topic in the course builder let's click on add new topic to add your new topic and type your topic name type your topic summary for example if you visit this course you will see this course contents and this is our topic name and these are our lessons and paste it or type your course topic name and type your topic summary then click on add topic and then you can easily add your course lesson and course quiz so to add your course lesson click on plus icon and then you can add your video lesson name or title and lesson content you can add some instruction for this lesson you can set feature image for this lesson or video just select it and see you can select your video source if you select html pipe and upload the mp4 video and you will see these videos on your media library if you plan to upload thousands of videos more videos or big sizes videos your regular web hosting won't give you big spaces to upload your videos on your local server that's why you have to purchase external web storage like amazon s3 wasabi digital oceans and other storage but if you sell your course individually you can select youtube option or you can select bmo option and if you plan to upload 50 to 60 videos you don't need to purchase a cloud storage or external object storage you can easily upload your own host or you can select your external source for youtube just go to your studio.youtube.com and try to upload your new video click on create and click on upload videos and select your video file so i have selected this mp4 file and click on open and type your video title description or you can set your video thumbnail and click on next and then again click on next again click on next and you have to select unlisted because of i don't publish this video on youtube or youtube gallery and i will provide this link to my students and they can easily access this video through the link and click on save and go back to your lesson page and paste it and type your video duration for example my video duration is 32 minutes 43 seconds you can set your video playback time and then click on update lesson then i want to see this lesson in my course just update this course then view this course and click on start learning and see we have got our lesson and you can add more lesson following the same step and they can watch these videos from here but it has some issue uh, main issue is watch letter and share button so, and they can share this link to another person so i want to disable these options watch letter and share so how to secure your video just go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to tutorial lms and click on settings so go back to your settings option and click on design tab and scroll down and see use tutor player for youtube just active this option for youtube videos to secure your youtube video so you can easily secure your video and reload it and see this video coming from our youtube if you click this or try to play and if you click on watch letter or share you don't uh, share this video uh, because our share button not working now so you can easily secure your video just go to your youtube channel home page here you can see we don't find this video because of your video is unlisted so we have added our new lesson and if you want to add more lesson or more quiz and you can add your new topic for example local install wordpress topic title 
and click on add topic and you can add another lesson in this topic so now i want to add these functionalities if someone uploads video course and select html option it will be automatically upload your s3 bucket and wasabi or digital ocean offset bucket and in this video i will show you how to configure s3 bucket to upload your course videos so this option will be suitable for your multi instructor website just go back to aws amazon.com just visit this link i will give you this link in the video description box below you can go to your account or sign up your account so i have already an account just log in my account and we have got the dashboard and click on search bar and search for iam first i want to make a user for access our s3 bucket just go to iam and then click on users and click on add users and type your username so i am typing for lms user and then go to this section and select this option access key programmatic access and click on next permission select this third one attach existing policies and search for s3 and see amazon s3 full access so i want to give my amazon full access to this user then click on next text and again click on next to review and see we have some option just click on click create user and copy your access key and copy your secret key you have to download the csv file because this is very important save this file on your desktop and then go back to your media library or wordpress dashboard and go to plugins and click on add new so i want to add a new plugin so just search for s3 or upload media so search for s3 and see we have got the plugin and you have to install this plugin and click on activate so now we have activate our plugin and then go to settings from your plugin and see we have got a new notice so don't worry scroll down and select amazon s3 select your connection methods so and to select this one wp and again scroll down and copy this code go back to your hostinger panel and click on websites and click on manage and then scroll down and see the file manager so i want to access my file manager and go to public html and see we have got wpconfig.php file just download this file wpconfig and open this file on your text editor so i am using sublime text and edit this file and hit enter and paste your code and replace your access key and secret access key so to find secret access key and access key just go back to amazon user option and open your downloaded csv file just open this and see we have got our access key and we have got our access secret key let's copy this access key id go back to this code and delete star and paste this access key and remove spaces and again let's copy your secret key and remove all stars paste it in here then save this file close your editor and then you have to upload this file on your web server just go back to your file manager and delete this old file just select wp config and click on delete icon and click on delete then click on upload icon and click on file and select this file and open the new file and see we have got our wpconfig.php reload this page on your plugin and see our notice has gone go back to your amazon aws and search for s3 and click on s3 so right now we don't have any s3 bucket to create your s3 bucket just click on s3 bucket and type your bucket name or you can create a new bucket from your wordpress dashboard and see you can easily select your existing bucket or you can create a new bucket from your wordpress dashboard just select it and type your bucket name must you have to type unique bucket name and you can also select your region from here 
and click on create new bucket and then as you can see we have got s3 settings and you can uh, configure your s3 bucket options and you can replace your path and this will be our file urls so i want to change wp content to wp content to media and type your own url path you can hide the prefix or you can hide year month or version name so if you want to hide any option you can hide this option from your url and set this option if you want to remove your local media so i don't want to store this media on my local server that's why i have selected this option remove local media I scroll down and click on save changes and that's it go to your course page and again reload this page and I scroll down and to try to add my new video lesson just click on plus icon and type your video lesson title and add your video content just select your html option and browse and upload this file just rename this file this video from amazon s3 then upload this file and go to url and let's see this is our new url structure just copy the url and paste it on your address bar and see this is our bucket name and amazon aws.com media upload just select your file and click on upload media and select your video four star so i want to select this four star for our demo and click on update lesson click on update and view the course and I scroll down and see we have got our introduction to the course videos if you go to your amazon s3 bucket you can check your video from here just go to bucket and see we have got our new s3 bucket and open this bucket and go to media and see our video automatically uploaded our amazon s3 bucket so i hope this feature will be help you and reduce your server space then i want to try to access my course just click on enroll now and click on start learning and see we have got our videos and if you click on local in installation issues and this video from our amazon s3 if you select this option and see and let's go back to your course option so now i want to add new quiz just click on quiz and type your quiz title quiz for wordpress click on save and next and then click on add question and type your question name so my question is what is wordpress you can select true false or single choice or multiple choice question from here and if you purchase pro version of tutor lms you can add more functionalities you will get more types of questions so for now i want to select multiple choice you can require this answer and you can set your point if your student select correct answer you can give them five point for this answer and you can display these points and then you can add option so we have added our question but we don't have any option so i want to add option or answer just type your option or answer title wordpress is cms and you can also upload your image image question you can select only image or you can select only text if you select text and image you can easily set your image for your answer then click on update answer and then if you click on add an option and you can add another option so i have selected this image for demo purpose windows software and click on update answer and again click on add new option and again set your another image and then you can mark your correct answer so our correct answer is cms wordpress is a cms so this is our correct answer that's why i have selected this correct answer and click on add to questions and then you can add more question so our first question is what is wordpress and you can add your more question or second question for true false question title and you can select single choice or true or false so i have to add true or false and 
so what phrase is computer software so this question is false and so you have got two question and click on save and next and you can set your time limit for your exam i have set this time for 10 minutes and you can easily select quiz feedback mode so i have selected passing grade for 60 percent and maximum question allowed to answer you can set your allowed answer for maximum question if you click on advanced option and you can select quiz auto start and hide quiz question number then click on save next and you can update this page or course and go to your course page just reload this page and see we have got quiz for wordpress so if you select this option and you will get question to question and quiz time 10 minute and course and total attempt one thing rate 60 percent and click on start quiz and they can see time remaining and they can select your correct answer so our correct answer is what phrase what is what phrase so our, our correct answer is cms so just select your image uh, title and click on submit and next and then what phrase is computer software so our correct answer is what phrase is cms not computer software so this answer is false so just click on false and click on submit quiz and see we have attempt our quiz and our total marks is six and correct answer is true incorrect answer is zero and earn at point six points and our result is passed and you can see your all questions on here so now i want to add some more courses on my website So I have added some courses for following the same process and then I want to monetize this course uh, free to paid and how to monetize your course how you can easily sell your course from your website to add selling functionalities you have to active another plugin that's named WooCommerce let's go to your plugins and click on add new and you have to active WooCommerce plugin that search for WooCommerce install this plugin and click on activate so we have activate our woocommerce plugin then you will see the setup wizard and type your address and type your region and then click on continue click on no thanks and you can select this education and learning you can select this option or you can skip these options select your option and click on continue uncheck this option then click on continue and click on this button continue with my active theme and see we have added our WooCommerce and we have got products option and you can add your new product and store your product so now I want to add a new product for this course and copy the course name and go back to your dashboard go to products and click on add new right now we don't have any product so I want to add a new product to monetize this course then I scroll down set the price so this course for 86 and you can set to your sale price 80 and see we don't find any option to monetize our courses so first of all you have to active and select WooCommerce to monetize your tutor LMS courses and go to tutor LMS and open again setting space from new tab and click on monetization and select your monetization option so I have WooCommerce plugin just select WooCommerce and you can also add more plugins and functionalities and you can monetize by using easy digital download plugins 
paid membership pro plugins to add subscription option then you can enable sharing option so i will show you how to enable uh, sharing option and how to add instructor option on your website i will show you this option later but for now i want to select uh, woocommerce and click on save changes and go back to this product page and reload this page and I scroll down and see we can set this product for tutor lms just check this option and set your sale price you can add new categories for your product but i don't want it just click on publish and again go back to your course and edit this course i want to monetize this course and see we have got new option add product course type our course type is paid just select it and select product so we have created this wordpress for beginner product from our product section so just select your product and click on update and see we have set our product price or course price and your customers or your visitor can easily purchase course so now i want to create a new student account and a student login and register functionalities on our website so to active it i want to replace this button uh, getting started to login to login my student or instructor so just go back to your wordpress dashboard and if anyone can log in your website they can see their profile picture and they can say their username and click on customize i want to set the link for the non logged visitor button and see we have got our customizer then click on tutor starter options and go to header and I scroll down and you can set your logo so i will set it later just scroll down and you can change your button color and button link so i'm typing button text login and you can change button text color and also you can change button border color so we have created some pages for student login and register just copy the login page link go go to back to your customizer and paste the login page link then click on publish and go to your private window and open it another browser and see we have got our login option if someone click on login and they can see tutor login page so this login page not working now so don't worry i will replace this page just go back to your customizer copy the dashboard link copy it or you can copy it from your pages just copy the dashboard link replace the login page link just paste your dashboard link then click on publish and then click on login and see we have got our login page and using this page your instructor or your student can log in their account i want to register a new account just click on register now just type your student name for demo purpose i am typing a student one and type your student username and type your student email account and type student password then click on register so we have registered our student profile and your student can set their profile you can set your student cover image and you can install or upload your student profile picture and then you can add student bio student information then click on and update your student profile and read this page and see you have got our student profile and images now i want to replace some images links from our home page let's go back to your page and click on edit with elementor i want to replace my category links and paste your category links in here just go back to your tutor lms dashboard click on categories and copy your category link and paste your category link then i want to replace all categories links following the same process I have replaced all categories links and I scroll down and I want to show my courses in this section to add your course list and add your course from Elementor 
and you have to add another plugin to active elementor page builder to show your course using elementor page builder just click on add new and search for tutor lms elementor and install this plugin or add-ons then click on activate and go back to your elementor home page and click on update and then reload this page click on the plus icon in this section and search for course list this is our course list short code or elementor widget just drag and drop and see these are our courses and click on pencil icon and you can change your skin classic to card if you select card see this option and if you select stack it and you can see this design and if you select overlay you will see this option okay that's it so select columns you can select your columns for single column so you can show your course purpose and hover animation so you can if you hover on your course and see our hover animation is working now and you can active or deactive your course images and you can change your image size show and hide your metadata and you can active difficulty level and see our level is here and you can show your course categories course categories is here and you can show your course pagination and hide your course pagination okay so that's it and you can easily show your course from specific categories uh, just scroll down and go to query settings and you can uh, show your course from a specific categories if you select web design you will see javascript and our php and web design related course in here and you can show your courses for category wise and if you want to show your only feature courses you can add more categories from your categories and type your type your category name features and click on add new category and set product for your feature category and select your specific feature categories next i want to add course slider in this section and search for course carousel and simply drag and drop these widgets over here you can easily change your slider to show so i want to set three change your settings and disable or enable your options from here and you can also set your query and show your courses from a specific categories following the same method and if you click on carousel setting and you can show and hide arrows our arrows has gone then you can replace your course button i have shown you how to replace your uh, button text and images or uh, button link so you have already know how to do it and become an instructor so i want to replace this instructor link browse courses to become an instructor type apply for instructor and add your page link again go back to your pages click on all pages and go to instructor register just copy this link and paste it in here and then click on update that's it and let's visit our website and see you have got our web design web art and some categories and if you select your web design categories and you will see web design related courses and then scroll down and if you try to apply for instructor just click on apply for instructor and see do you want to start your career as an instructor your students can easily apply for instructor and then as an admin you have to approve this instructor to selling their course before doing it you have to change some settings just go to your tutor lms settings option and see enable marketplace just check this option and after that we have got our instructor section allow instructor to publish courses and become an instructor button on student dashboard page so i want to add this button on student dashboard page then click on save changes 
and go to monetization option and scroll down so to active instructor uh, revenue and your instructors can sell their courses from your website and they can generate revenue from your website you can uh, set your minimum withdrawal system $80 so I want to set $50 to minimum withdrawal amount or $20 set the minimum days before balance is available so set for 15 days so after 15 days if your instructor will get a notification or available withdraw balance on their account and if you want to enable withdrawal method to withdraw their revenue from your website and they can simply add their bank account they can set their paypal account from their dashboard you can active and deactive this withdrawal method okay and see enable revenue sharing so you have to open this option to share your revenue just active this option then set the sharing percentage so if you set the percentage for instructor and if instructor sell any course and they will get 80 percent commission PO set is 90 percent as an admin you will get 10 percent commission and your instructor get 90 percent commission and then you can change another option from here then click on save and changes to save your changes and reload this option and see we have got our instructor section under our tutor lms tab just click on instructors and see we have got our instructor email and instructor name you can change instructor status just approve it to approve their account and go back to your student or instructor account and go to dashboard and see we have got an instructor panel and then your students can easily upload their uh, courses from here and they can easily see their enrolled courses so now i want to add a new course as an instructor click on create a new courses and your instructor can see this dashboard they can easily add their add or upload their uh, courses from this dashboard for free so this is our free tutor lms feature or if you active tutor lms pro version you will able to upload courses from instructor dashboard but if you use the free version you don't able to upload any woocommerce or paid product because of tutor lms free version not support to add your custom price to active more functionalities on your dashboard or your website you have to purchase tutor lms pro to purchase tutor lms pro version just visit wpmethods.com slash tutor lms then scroll down you can purchase tutor lms pro for lifetime for your single license or 10 license or 50 website so you can choose tutor lms for lifetime or annually then click on buy now and type your billing details and scroll down and choose your payment methods you can buy tutor lms pro using your credit card or debit card or paypal account then check this option and click on proceed to paypal after purchasing tutor lms pro then click on your user account and click on downloads and then download the tutor lms pro from here just click on download and this is my pro version of this plugin just go back to our dashboard and hover over on plugins and click on add new and click on upload plugin and select your plugin zip file and click on open and then click on install now and click on activate plugin and see we have got tutor lms pro then you can easily active and deactive more functionalities on your website and then let's try to upload a new course from your instructor profile just go to your instructor dashboard and your instructor can upload their courses from this dashboard we have got our course title option and your instructor can add their course title course slug and they can easily add a paid version and they can easily set the regular price discount price and they can easily upload course thumbnail and also they can add a new topic 
they can add new lesson so our website will be more functional and you can easily add your more more courses and your instructor can also add more courses from this dashboard and you can easily hide the admin bar for tutor lms uh, and you can easily hide the admin bar the admin bar for instructor just go to your uh, tutor lms pro and go to settings and click on advanced hide admin bar and restrict access wp admin for instructor just check this option so and go back to your instructor profile and reload it and, and see we don't see the admin bar and to change this tutor lms logo you have to go your backend go to tutor lms pro and click on design and see course builder page logo just upload your logo so i want to upload my own logo you can hire a graphics designer to design your logo and it will be uh, super professional or you can easily create free logo from logo maker just visit logo maker dot com and you can easily design your own logo from here just search your logo icon to add logo text just click on text and type your logo text and you can design your text color and you can easily change your logo font you can easily create your logo for free then click on save and go back to again your your dashboard tutor lms and see we have replaced our tutor lms dashboard logo and to active your uh, menu menu and change this design just go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to appearance and click on customize and then go to this option and click on header and you can select your logo so and skip cropping again select your retina logo okay and scroll down and select your header with search bar so i want to select this one header with search bar so we have got a search bar to search our course and you can easily change your menu link color and hover color i want to select menu hover color to green color and cut color select your uh, favorite color click on publish and then i want to add a new uh, header menu so to add your new menu just go back to your dashboard and go to appearance and click on menus and type your menu name i'm typing main menu and select the display location for primary and click on create menu and see we have some pages just click on view all and i want to show home page and instructor register page course list page and whatever you want you can select your own pages then click on add to menu and we have got menu course list instructor register and if you want to add more categories uh, like course categories just click on skin option and active this option product categories or course categories okay then scroll down and see our course categories is here and click on view all and you can add your and click on add to menu and you can easily add drop down menu i want to rename this level and our categories is subcategory just drag and drop and you will set your categories for subcategories then click on save and see we have got some option business art design and some uh, uh, categories and courses categories and instructor register page home page so i want to rename this instructor register become instructor and click on save menu and go back to your website and reload this page and see we have got become an instructor option and your instructor or your student can easily apply their application using this link okay that's it so now i want to create an instructor account from another browser then i will show you how to integrate zoom on your website just open this website from another browser and click on become an instructor 
then type your instructor first name and last name and instructor information then click on register as instructor and go to the instructor dashboard panel and our application is pending now then go to wordpress admin dashboard and hover over on tutor lms pro and click on instructors and approve the instructor account and then i want to integrate zoom on our website and go back to your wordpress dashboard work over on your tutor lms pro and click on add-ons and scroll down and active the zoom add-on and reload it then click on zoom and you have to paste your api key and api secret key just go to zoom website click here and click on sign up to sign up your new account then type your email address and click on continue and check your email address and see we have got the verification code from our zoom account just copy the verification code and paste it in here and click on verify then type your account information then click on continue and click on let's go and see we have got our zoom dashboard from the left section just scroll down and click on advanced click on app marketplace and click on agree then click on developed and click on build app then click on agree and then create jwt app just click on create and type your app name then click on create then type your application information or uh, developer contact information then type your company name type your developer contact information and developer email address and I scroll down you can paste your terms and condition and privacy policy and support url from here then click on continue and see we have got our api key and api secret key copy your api key and go back to wordpress dashboard paste in here and then copy api secret key and paste it in here then click on save and check connection and see we have success to connection our api key then click on zoom and see we don't have any zoom class or options also your instructors can integrate their zoom account and they can also add api key and credential from their dashboard just go to the instructor dashboard and click on zoom and see your instructor can set their api key and api secret key so i want to use same api key and secret key from here click on manage and go to created app section click on online class click on app credentials copy the api key and again paste the api key and copy the api secret and then paste the api secret key then click on check and save connection and our connection is saved reload this page and see we have done this work and you can also go to settings and you can control zoom settings from here and from this dashboard so your instructors can easily add their api key and they can easily integrate their zoom account on your website and then i want to add a new course from instructor account click on add new course and then add your course title description and active q a then select your course categories and set your course price set your course thumbnail and then add your course intro video click on add new topic so type your topic name then click on add new topic and you can also your video lessons or zoom live class from here for example i want to add the zoom live lesson then type your meeting name 
then select your meeting date and type your meeting duration meeting time and select time zone and set meeting password then type meeting summary and then create meeting and see we have got our uh, zoom meeting live class also you can add your offline lesson quiz and you can also add new topic and create a new zoom meeting you can add everything whatever you want then click on publish and close the option next i want to try to order this course from our student account i'm logging the student account from our private window click on login type your student username and type your student password and hit enter and go to the home page open the course then click on add to card and click on view card then click on proceed to checkout and then type your billing details but we don't have any payment gateway on our website so to active your payment gateways on your website you have to go to your admin dashboard from your admin account and hover over on plugins and click on add new like paypal stripe razor pay paychem or anything whatever you want you can search your favorite payment gateway for example i am search for paypal then click on install now then click on activate then go to WooCommerce and click on paypal by payment plugins and click on settings and you have to paste your production client id production client secret just log in your paypal account from your paypal dashboard then click on business tools and scroll down and click on api credentials and click on get started and copy the client id and paste it and again go back to your paypal account copy the secret key and paste it and scroll down click on save changes and see our status is connected so you can add your uh, stripe account pay paytm account or another account following the same process then go to e-commerce and click on settings click on payments and active the paypal gateway just active this option and click on save changes and again go back to your student account and check out page reload this page and see we have got our paypal payment gateways on our website and now let's try to connect stripe account on our website hover over on your plugins and click on add new then install this plugin and click on activate then click on settings then select live then click on this button click to connect then click on live page then click on connect and see we have connected our stripe account on our website so you can easily connect your stripe account paypal account or any other payment getters just go to plugins click on add new for example if you want to connect paytm just search for paytm and activate your plugin and use this plugin or if you want to add cryptocurrency or coinbase just search for coinbase and you can easily active coinbase for WooCommerce and coinbase payment gateways then you can easily search your payment gateway just search and active your payment gateway that's it and see we have connected our stripe account into our website and you can easily use a stripe account on your website so now i want to try to a new order but before ordering i want to set my email account or email address for my WooCommerce orders just go to WooCommerce, click on settings and then click on emails and then set your business email id just log in your hostinger panel then click on emails and click on manage then click on email accounts and click on create new email account then type your email account name our email will be orders at our domain.com then set your email password then click on create new account then click on access webmail type your email password and copy the email account from here wordpress dashboard or email settings and click on manage or open manage on new tab 
so I want to replace these emails and this email paste your email and type your from name and go to this option new order email replace your new order email then replace cancel at order email and again replace this email just save this option and come back to the email tab and scroll down and see we have changed our all emails and again scroll down and you can also change this email address from email sender option and remove all spaces and you can type from name and change your base color and click on save changes and go back to your tutor lms pro go to add-ons and scroll down and see we have got our email option you can also active this add-on to add email functionalities on our tutor lms just active it and then you can also active your notification option from your front-end dashboard for your specific tutor events then active it and go to your tutor lms settings and see we have got the email and we have got the notification option then allow push notification from your browser then you can receive push notification from your browser so it has two types of notification system number one on-site notification number two push notification so you can easily send push notification or on-site notification to your students if you check these options so if someone enroll any course and they will get on-site or push notification for every event so you can check this option what you want then go to instructor notification system instructor will get notification if instructor registration process is active by admin and then you can set notification for admin so admin will get on-site or push notification if someone apply for instructor account from your website then click on email and you can active your email option from here just select your email template logo select your company logo or another logo for email template and you can change your email name and set your email address you can create another email for your replay email just go to your hosting panel and create another email and set this email here but for now i want to select this email and scroll down and you can set your email footer text then scroll down and you can set email notification for your student just active this feature from here or you can edit your email option if you click on edit and you can change email template from here and go to bottom and see email to teachers or instructor and you can easily edit your email template and you can also design email for admin then click on save changes and our email configuration has done and email logo hide and type your email address create another email address and paste your email address to active your notification email then go to checkout page and make this order then click on complete payment and see we have ordered our new courses from this website and if you go to your dashboard and you can see your order history from the admin dashboard you can check your orders from WooCommerce and click on orders and see our order is processing now and this is our student and you can see order information and you can easily change order status just select your order and select change status to complete and click on apply so if you received any order or any email you can check your email address and see we have got our new order email so you can easily set your email information or order information and go to your instructor dashboard so if you go to instructor dashboard just reload this page and see instructor get a new student and total course one and they can withdraw amount from their account 
and they can see their current balance or balance history and this balance will available after 15 days because of we have set this option from our monetization tab and see minimum days before balance is available and your instructor can withdraw their money or balance or revenue from their account bank account they can add their bank account set their paypal account just save it and if you click on withdraw and see we have set our paypal account as an instructor so now i want to change this color blue to green color so how to change your color and how to set your another options so you can go to your tutorial ms pro and go to settings and click on design and you can change your design course builder course per page and course layout and also you can set your student profile public layout from page feature you can enable q and a section on your single course page then scroll down and set your color so i want to set my primary color green color and click on ok primary hover color and set your more color from here then click on save changes and go back to your dashboard and reload it and see you have changed our colors so go back to your student dashboard and see our status has completed and see our student enrolled courses student can view and they can start learning from your website so if you click on start learning and see we have got our zoom meeting information our students can join with mobile application and join with browser and see more details of the live class after attending the live class they can easily select mark as complete and if you complete this course just click on complete course and set your course rating and then you can set review click on update review and we don't able to download any certificate so how to active your certificate option on your website so to activate just go back to your website and go to tutor lms and click on add-ons and scroll down and active the certificate option and then edit your course from courses so for example i want to edit this course and set certificate for this course just open and edit your course and see we have got our certificate template option you can select your favorite design select portrait select landscape so i am selecting this one and update your course and go back to your student account go to enrolled certificate and go to completed courses and see our student can download their certificate from here just click on download and see this is our certificate and our student name and our signature so you can easily set signature and change the certificate template by using a certificate builder so you have to upload certificate builder add-on on your website just go to your tutorial lms account type wpmethods.com slash tutor lms and hit enter and click on download button to download this add-on then go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to plugins then click on add new and click on upload plugin then select this add-on and upload this add-on click on install now then click on activate plugin then go to tutor lms pro and click on settings then click on certificate and click on create certificate and you can choose your favorite certificate to template and you can easily design your certificate from here and see we have got the wonderful certificate builder and you can easily change your certificate information and you can easily design your certificate from here so now let's talk about more tutorial ms pro features hover over on tutorial ms pro and click on add-ons you can active this calendar add-on just active this option and go to student dashboard and scroll down and see student will get a calendar and they can see everything calendar wise so then content drip just active this option and edit your any course and scroll down go to course setting 
and click on content drip then enable this option if you select this option schedule course content by date go to course builder section and edit any lesson and see we have got our content drip section then select this lessons unlocking date and click on update lesson and view the course and see this lesson is locked and it will be available from your specific date and active enrollment and go to enrollment and click on enroll a student and select the course and search your student name you can easily give your course access for a specific student manually just add your student and click on enroll now and see we have enrolled this course to the student manually and if you active this report system and you will see the reports in here just click on reports and see amount of our published courses total enrolled courses and total lessons and instructors and you can see everything from the report option then active this course preview option and edit any course and go to course builder then edit any lesson and see you have got the enable course preview option just check this option then click on update lesson then update this course and open this course from private window then go to course content and see your visitors can view this course without enroll your course and next multi instructor so active this option and you can allow multi instructor system for every single course for example i want to edit this course and see we have got another option instructors so this is our instructor one and you can add or assign another instructors for this course i am adding instructor two then click on save changes and update this course view the course and see this course has multi instructor and if you active this feature quiz export and import i want to edit this lesson because it has one quiz and see this is our quiz quiz of wordpress so if you want to export this quiz just click on this icon and see our quiz has exported so i want to import this quiz to another course just edit another course and edit your topic and click import quiz and select this quiz and select this file and click on open and see we have imported our quiz and that's it i hope this video will help you to create your professional lms website using wordpress and if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates